Last example is very simple to finish. It will be like quoting, buying $10,000 of WorldCoin in three, three different exchanges and see what is the best price. So for this, we're going to create a new one saying example for uh, quoting on different venues. Uh, perfect, let's add it. Uh, probably we can just use the same structure as the first one and send the, the message through Telegram to see it's quoting. Let's just change the function. And what we can say now is to chat GPT. Um, we're going to use instead of portfolio, we're going to use uh, this would be uh, my market data. This will get price for quote volume. This is the, the method that we need to do. And here we have uh, connect all that stuff. What we can pass here as a comp, well, we can just do it here. Connectors uh, to quote. This would be Binance, um, KuCoin, um, OKX, uh, let's say Gate, Gate.io. Well, let's say these four. And then trading pair, this would be just WorldCoin USDT. And let's say that here we're going to call the following method that will be tasks. It's going to be this. This to make like all the calls without blocking. Connector will be equal to connector. Trading pair, trading pair, and quote, quote volume. Well, this will be like this. Quote volume will be 10,000. We are going to hard code it, but well, let's put it here. Quote volume, 10,000, quote volume. Uh, perfect. And then we can put message will be equal to uh, this will be quoting on multiple exchanges. And this would be message. Perfect. Well, let's see if that's as it is works. It should be sending the. Uh, I forgot one message that is is buy. We said that we were going to quote it for buy. Is buy equal to true? Well, let's run again. Well, the first issue was that this uh, was expected to be a float, and we were passing an integer. And the second issue that sometimes happens, that is a meme time, text explain, whatever, is a deserialization issue from the API side that we'll probably fix after this video. But for now, we just change it the the train pairs, the sorry, the connector names, and let's run it to see how it works. Um, it's sending a message. I move it also to 100k to see the impact better. Uh, well, seems like well for 100k is still. All of them saying giving me a very good price. I also want to see if I am adding this more stuff and let's put like 500k to see if we can see an a real price impact of this issue that is appearing. Um, maybe there is there is no enough volume for that on the books that are appearing, so that's the reason why it's failing. But I need to handle that from the um, API, from the API side. 200k, okay, perfect. So let's see. Well, we see that we have different prices. Seems like Bybit is the one that has the biggest impact for this. Um, mysteriously, Mexi <laughs> has better price for 
for this. But well, as you can see, we are quoting on multiple exchanges. Uh, this is tough. Um, if you want to just show the other book instead of uh, getting running this, you can just run await hbot client um, market data dot order get out the book. Um, and well, get your book like this. But well, I hope that you like it. I hope that you learned from these videos. Uh, well, see you on the next ones.